Hi folks, Mr. Teslonian back here again. I want to take you through how to convert this bio crude oil I just showed you how to make in the prior films into a usable fuel. Uh, a quick demonstration of how this is going to work. We have a gasifying cook stove back here that's going to provide our heat. We have a test tube here. And in that test tube what I've done, and in the prior video, this is test tube number one with the thickest and the darkest of the crude we produced out of the very first collector in the system. And that's what we're running through first. So we're going to start in line and run each one of these and see which one produces the best fuels the easiest. Uh, so I have that right now inside of this test tube. It's going to run up through this condenser I showed you. I pulled the condenser off of the other project. It goes into the first collector, comes out and into a secondary collector and out of the top of that again. That should give us some kind of indication of fuel production. So let me go ahead without any ado here and start this fire up in the gasifier and see if we can't get our production started. I'm going to have to have gloves on and start moving this gasifier out from underneath this quite a bit. I don't need that much flame. It'll be way more than I need. Uh, so I'm going to have to kind of be on this while we're doing this shot. Alright, so here we go. Fire starting. Now, over on the other side there, what I can do is probably zoom in the camera as we get this cooking up a little bit and show you the actual fuel stilling out inside of those jars, in the collector jars. Uh, I just want to show you it starting up first. See if we can't move that back just a little bit. We don't need that much flame. I've got some good gloves on here, so I'll be able to mess with it a bit. Should have made a little handle on it. Might have been quite a bit easier. That's the next project maybe on the gasifying stove. Alright, so there we go. We got some flame going here. Uh, what we're going to do now is go ahead and I'm going to zoom in on those collectors and see if we can't show fuel being produced here. So give me just a second here to readjust this camera. Alright, there we go. Now there's a sticker right in front of that one. Uh, so it'll still give you some kind of indication there, kind of jumping around. You should be able to see exactly what's being produced in the system right there. So we're going to go ahead and let this run now. I'm going to have to adjust this flame quickly. It's gotten pretty big. Alright, so I'm going to let the film run. I'm going to talk a little bit through it here why I'm adjusting this flame. Uh, I've got quite a big flame, quite a big system I'm using here. I could have made a smaller gasifier for this. It's basically my Bunsen burner I'm using here. Alright, I can hear the crude starting to bubble in there just a little bit, so I'm going to back the flame off slightly. Now one of the things I have inside of that copper tube that I showed you, that was attached to the top end. Of Alright, now we've got smoke production here. You can start seeing the smoke being produced inside of that first condenser jug there. Uh, I may just take the camera down off of the tripod and put the camera right up to that. So you can actually see production as it's happening here. I've got to be real careful with the heat I'm producing, so uh, allow me to concentrate over just a little bit here. The second I start seeing condensed liquid forming in there, I'll move the camera over. We should be able to get at least two grades of fuel from this if everything works out correctly. Alright, it cooled down a bit, so i got to heat it back up. This is going to be a real tricky maneuver I'm working with here. Such a big flame. Okay, it's bubbling again. What I'm going to try to do here is slowly cook this and see if we can't produce things that are uh, more like the butanes and others first at a low temperature. Cook those off and see if we can't produce some kind of liquid that's going to be the lightest and the easiest to boil off first. And we'll go through stages trying to figure out just how many different types of fuel we can get out of this. So right now we are still applying heat to this. These test tubes are pretty low grade that I have here. Uh, I'm kind of curious on how well they're going to work. Alright, you can see a little bit of smoke starting to build inside that jar down there. I haven't seen any liquid condensing yet, so I'm still curious on how long it's going to take for that.
I don't want to break this test tube, so I'm trying to not overheat it, not destroy uh, any of the fuels that I might produce or create. Try to go through step by step here. What's going on here? Possibly you can see that in the bottom of the jug. I can shake that around just a little bit, zoomed in about right there, just to show you the liquid we're producing. Uh, let me back off the fire here from our test tube just a bit Why I do this. Alright, so hopefully in the shot there you can actually see that nice golden fluid uh, rolled to the other side there, rolling around in that jar. That is our liquid that we're producing, our gasoline off of the bio crude fuel. Let me go ahead and zoom back out for you. Set that shot back straight across, you can see what's going on here. Alright, so it's taken us a few moments and what I have to do to get this to work quite right, I've noticed is I'm going to have to put a little bit of a levee or a wedge underneath that side. So give me just a moment here to put that underneath there and you'll see from there that fuel starts flowing into that uh, bottom receptacle there. There we go. What's going on is that I have a, a bit of a down tilt to my coil in there. So there we go, we're still heating that fuel system up. Let's see if we can drip some more fuel out of the condenser coil. I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see it come out. Camera there, okay, here we go. I think that'll be good enough for you to see if anything comes out right there. Here we go, I'm going to lift that condenser coil just a bit. And allow any fluid that's in there to fully make its way out. Okay, I didn't really see much more there. I'm going to set that back up. But we do definitely have fuel being produced within the system here. Alright, let me go ahead and throw a little bit more wood in the gasifying stove here. See if there's anything left inside that test tube. That should be about all the fuel we're going to make. I didn't even expect to make that much, to tell you the truth. Uh, we only filled the test tube to about here, if you can see that. Alright, so that's our last little batch of wood here. See if we can't get that to heat back up just for a brief moment. See if anything's left inside the system here. And what we're going to do is take that lid off of that main jar and try to light this fuel we just created out of our own bio crude oil made from wood. So alright, you can see the flames are starting to get bigger here. I can see quite a bit of condensation still inside of the tube. I'm curious on uh, just how much is still not making it through the condenser here. It may be very heavy oils that are just too heavy to even make it that high past the catalyst of the copper plus the brass and other metals here. Alright, so there we go. I can hear the, the crude inside of there starting to bubble again. I'm going to go ahead and superheat this, and if the test tube cracks while we're doing it, it was uh, just a part of science here. I'm going to try to crack anything left inside of those carbons, you know, the, the long chain uh, carbon samples that I'm looking for. Sorry, there I had to adjust this fire just a bit. Okay, so what we got here is the lighter of the two are alkanes and alkenes that we're going to try to... Alright, so we got this flame roaring up here at the very end. Uh, trying to see if there's anything left whatsoever inside of our system here of our bio crude conversion into gasoline. Uh, you can see the gasifying cook stove over here heating our test tube. There's still quite a bit of condensation showing up here inside of this test tube. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of fuels those are. I, I am going to test it here real quick as we stop the system in a moment. I, once this ends and once I stop seeing condensation, I'll believe that most of my fuel has been produced. Uh, the only thing that should be left inside of this flask when I'm done is going to be basically coke ash, which is a heavy carbon ash. Uh, so that should be all that's left. 
and you can't really see inside of it at the moment so I'm not sure how close to producing that coke ash I really am. So we're going to let that burn just a little bit longer here and see just how much more is going to be produced. Probably heard one of those squirrels in the background just now. Alright, I'm actually seeing in the second condenser jug now, I think I see some liquid finally building in there. Uh, let me go over and shake that real quick and see if there is actually a liquid flow. It does appear to be some liquid. Very, very little. It's, it's not much. I can see just a light coating gathering at the bottom there. So not really much there. That could be uh, just a further distillation from the original process here. We've been burning now for a good 10 minutes or more. And uh, I'm pretty sure that most of what was inside of this has uh, been cracked off of there. Even though I still see quite a bit of condensation built in the top of this test tube. Uh, that does make me curious on how much more fuel is really there. We're going to go ahead and end this process when the fire dies down a bit here and test out that fuel it just produced and see just how well it works. See whether or not we've refined it far enough to become a gasoline or if it's actually a diesel in that first one. Uh, still, it needs to be further refined. And the winds are going to kick up here and kind of blow that flame so that's not going to be hitting our test tube. So I'm going to lift it up and try to finish this off at a really high temperature. See if we can isolate the very last of anything in there. I can still hear it crackling and bubbling in there, so there's still something in there for energy. Uh, I can start seeing some steam building inside that jar over there. So there is some kind of moisture right now still transferring through the system. Uh, so I'll keep going here briefly. For the diehards, I left this part of the whole process in there for people that truly wanted to see uh, how far I took this just to show you what the fuel is on the other side. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that down. I'm going to let the system cool a bit here. Uh, we're going to go over to that final jug. First of all, let's go ahead and lift this condenser once and just see if any extra fluid had been stuck inside of the coil there. Alright, well I don't see much more. Alright, now that we've uh, let the fire die down, I'm going to go ahead and remove the camera here. I wanted to show you something that I was talking about. Uh, we still got some nice red coals burning inside of there. You can see flashing. So I'm going to keep the camera out from over that. But I was going to tell you, you know, as I was saying throughout the shot, there's condensation or a moisture building still at the top of the test tube. And I'm not sure why it's building so thick and then running back down without ever leaving the system. I may have some restriction in here that I'm going to have to take a look at. But we did end up with some fuel out the other side here. So let's take a better look at this fuel. And you can see it. Let's see here. You see a little bit of it rocking around down in the very bottom down there. Uh, we're going to try to light this on fire real quickly here. Let's go ahead and set the camera down. And see how well this lights on fire. Okay, so here we go. Alright. Um, so what I've got here is I've got a lighter and a few sticks. Uh, I don't know, we got a couple pieces of wood and some sticks here. We got a lighter. Alright, so let's go ahead and see just how flammable, if at all, our fuel. Let me go ahead and give you a shot there, if I can, inside the jar. Showing you there's some sediment in there. Then Now that could have come out of the pipe. It actually has an oil appearance to it. I was just looking at it. Kind of a darker color, still kind of amber colored uh, on the fuel here. So we're going to take a longer stick, rub it around inside of that, 
Try to get it covered and see if this will burn at all. So here we go. There we go. Wow, look at that. It burned immediately and is almost gone. So there you go. That was the flash burn of our fuel. If it burned that fast, I'm actually expecting this to evaporate very quickly. Uh, let's try that again. Alright, you can see the moisture all over the stick here. We can get the lighter to light. There we go. And it's burned off. Okay, so I don't want the stick to burn here. Let's try that again. This seems to be a pretty good grade of fuel. It doesn't have a lot of length to its burn, but it's got a good flash, which means it's probably more of a gasoline. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So, there you go. That's how to refine uh, from wood all the way to gasoline or some form of high-grade fuel here. I'm going to keep playing around with this just for a moment just to show you. Uh, hopefully this will continue to burn the whole way. Yeah, look at that. That's just great. Uh, look how fast it burns away though. That, that's really impressive. Leaves almost no residue behind as it's doing so. It's almost burning more as an alcohol than it is uh, of a gasoline. I'm going to have to try this next to uh, normal gasoline and see what the difference is going to be. It's got a little bit of an oil smoke to it when it burns. Pretty neat. I'm going to save this little bit now. And I'm going to try to do a couple more experiments with it just to see exactly what it is. Uh, our next process, let me go ahead and put this back together so it doesn't evaporate all out of there. Alright, now did we get any fuel inside the second jar? Hold on, before I go on. I don't really... Let's see if we got any light whatsoever. Um, it's a curious fuel. It drew the flame in for a moment instead of blowing the flame out. Uh, so I, I'm pretty sure alcohol and gasoline burn differently, and I'm going to have to look up again which one burns which direction. Uh, that'll give me a pretty good idea. That actually pulled the flame inwards instead of blowing the flame outwards. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed uh, how to make gasoline or some form of fuel to run an engine uh, off of wood from the beginning by turning it into bio crude oil then distilling it like we have here today and turning it into gasoline. Our next project is going to be taking this grade right here, this honey oil, and now running this through the system and seeing what kind of fuel we can turn this into. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, this is Mr. Tesalonian and the Tesalonian Man Show.